Okay, so I had an interesting comment from Jim Noss the other day. I mentioned it in a previous version of Pi News. Uh, he's managed to overclock his Pi 02W to 2147. And as you can see from the settings, uh, we've got current limit override, we've got over voltage of 11, uh, and arm boost equals one. So I figured I'd try some of these settings and uh, see what happens. Uh, interestingly, this operating system is running at 1900, and uh, it is showing that on NeoFetch, but I'm wondering if it actually makes a difference, because the Pi 02W is clocked as standard at one gigahertz, so a 2147 overclock seems unlikely to be uh, working properly, so I'm gonna give it a try. So in yesterday's video, I showed one of these little micro USB adapters enabling USB boot on the Pi 02W. Uh, well, I had this comment from Michael Cloutier, have you tested other USBs? I have a rather generic micro USB OTG2 hub and it boots from it. So I had a look through my drawer, I've got loads of USB hubs and various things. Uh, this one is one that I bought years ago to use with this little Windows 10 tablet. Uh, and the reason I got it for this one is because connection wise it only has micro USB and micro HDMI. So if you wanted to power it and maybe plug in a gamepad or maybe a mouse and keyboard, you couldn't. One interesting thing about this tablet, by the way, is that it also boots into Android. Uh, it's a Chinese tablet that I've had for quite some time now, and uh, it is very cool. Anyway, this is the OTG uh, adapter. I'll see if I can find a link to something similar, because I bought this from eBay a long time ago, but showing you the configuration. So power is going into it. I've got my Raspberry Pi official adapter with a micro USB adapter on the end. So that's powering the hub, which is also powering the Pi. I've plugged into the second, the data port on the Pi, nothing else is plugged into the power port, obviously HDMI. Uh, and this hub is powering my mouse keyboard combo, which is my Logitech that I always use, and also uh, the Ugreen USB SATA adapter with a 60 gig UCAN drive. And Raspberry Pi OS is running really, really well on it. And here is the Chewy tablet running a very old version of Android. Okay, so back to the Pi 02W, and uh, I'm already running this at 1900 megahertz. I didn't realize it was running at 1900, uh, but I used an SD card that I had in my remote desktop Pi, and I'd overclocked it to 1900, so all the settings uh, relate to that. But I haven't done any speed tests because I figured I'd save that for a video, but if I go into config.txt, here are the settings that I've been using. Uh, so over voltage equals six, arm frequencies with 1900. Uh, the minimum was because I was running it on a remote desktop, I wanted it to drop down to a low speed uh, when it was idle to use less power, but that's not really important now. So let's get rid of that. Uh, and then control X and yes, and enter, and then reboot. Okay, so let's run NeoFetch uh, just to show what it's reporting. There we go, so 1.9 gigahertz, uh, which is what the config.txt was showing. So let's do a speed test with that first of all. Uh, so I've got sysbench on here, and here's the script I'm gonna get it to run. So I've got CPU max prime 7000. I'm running over four threads. So let's hit run and see how long this takes. See the temperature's heating up a little bit. Pimeroni fan shim's doing a very good job though. Okay, so let's document that. So 1900 megahertz, 27.0458 seconds. So let's save that and get rid of the overclock completely. So let's go down. And when you hash out the lines, that means they don't do anything. So that was over voltage of six as well. So control X and yes, and enter. And let's reboot and we'll try it non-overclocked and see if we get any different results. Okay, so if I hover down here, it should show me it's at a thousand. If I wait for a second, there you go, a thousand. And uh, let's run that sysbench again and go. Okay, so 27.1359 seconds. That's not very much difference, is there? Uh, so it was in this document. So 27.0458 and 27.1359. That's almost nothing. I mean, it is, it is quicker with the 1900, but not quicker as in 1900 cents. So let's pop that in. So what happens if I go to 1300, which a lot of people have been doing? So let's do that. So back into config.txt, what was I? Over voltage of six, so I'm gonna go an over voltage of four, and I'm gonna go 1300. Is this gonna be quicker? In theory it should be. And let's reboot. Okay, so hover over here, 
and 600 and 1300 there you go so that's worked try this a third time and now we're talking so 20.8164 see that's weird so the 1900 is slower oh did i not save that fortunately i recorded it so i have the numbers so let's make sure we save it this time and let's try going one little bit higher to 1400 so let's keep the over voltage at four i'm sure that'll be all right okay so famous last words that doesn't work uh, so i need to switch off and switch on but holding down shift hopefully this works on a wireless keyboard i'm sure it will uh, and that will undo the overclock settings just temporarily so then i need to change it in the config.txt uh, and i'll add some over voltage to it i mean it might not be able to do for well mind you it, it it was showing okay at 1900 so that's a bit weird but uh, yeah let's increase that a little bit okay so that tip doesn't seem to work so i'm gonna have to boot it up with an sd card in here and i'll read the usb from that so let's switch that off let's pop uh, this is going to be confusing because this has got exactly the same operating system cloned on here although it's not going to have the overclocking things on the desktop so let's start that up but without the usb plugged in okay and let's plug this in so that it can read it as an external drive and then i'll switch into screen capture okay so it's not showing up i would expect it to show up here as a removable drive uh, if I uh, go into Imager, let's just hit Arrays and Choose Storage, you can see it is detected my SSD drive that I've been using all this time, but uh, it's not recognized by the operating system. So I generally use Ubuntu for this, but I'll use my iPad just because it's handy. And uh, Ubuntu I haven't tried on the Pi Zero yet because it's 64-bit OS and probably doesn't run that well. Uh, so let's call this up. So it comes up as a removal drive. I'll switch over to Screen Capture. Okay, so config.txt and let's increase that i'm going to go right up to seven because it could make a difference because i've got the ssd drive in so go back and that should be it close down those two unplug pop that back in and try booting again okay so that seems to have worked and let's just hover over here yeah 1400 let's do that test again okay so you can still see it's getting quicker at 19.2292 with an over voltage of seven so 1509 over voltage didn't work, but this is 1511 over voltage, and it's done something weird because it's gone into this screen. So I'm gonna sign in and uh, see, maybe there's gonna be errors. Yeah, it's definitely running slow. Oh, and it, in fact, I've lost mouse. Yeah, I've lost mouse control. Okay, so I've got a successful boot. It does report as 1500. Uh, and if I click down here, it also reports as 1500. If you think that's fan noise, it's actually my washing machine in the background uh, that you can hear possibly through the mic. Uh, but yeah, it's overclocked to 1450 uh, because if I call up the config.txt, you'll be able to see it in here. This is not uncommon, the Pi 4, if you overclock to 2147, I think shows as 22, something like that. Uh, but I've done over voltage equals seven and arm frequency equals 1450. So at least I can do another test, and it seems stable. I've had it up and running, well, not for very long, but I've had it up and running. Uh, so let's do that test again. And the temperature's not high, so 42. Pimeroni fan seems doing a really good job. 46, it's ramping up a bit now that it's going for it. Okay, 18.61, that's the fastest so far, isn't it? It is, so 14.50 is the best so far. Now obviously time will tell if this overclock is gonna be stable, so uh, I think I'm going to try and push it a little bit more though. So what do we reckon? 14.75 with an over voltage of 8. Okay, so still showing up as 1500. Yep, so still getting quicker. 14.75 with an over voltage of 8 uh, is 18.2598 seconds. I think as it didn't work at 1500, I'm... Oh, I could try 1500 at 8. Okay, let's try 1500 at 8. That's the one that's missing. Okay, so that didn't work. I've been asked by FlexiSpot to mention the sale that they've got on the 26th of November. Now, my desk is a mess at the moment, but the desk itself, uh, everybody will have seen in all my videos. I've been using it for the last year. Uh, FlexiSpot kindly gave me this standing desk, which has got presets on it, and I love it. It's, it's been really, really helpful for me, and I definitely wouldn't go down to a sit-down only desk. That said, I can't lower it because I've got a whole box of Raspberry Pi stuff underneath. 
And uh, I generally do all my videos stood up, uh, so when I'm doing all my videos, it is a brilliant desk, but have a look at their website and also have a look at my video if you wanna know a bit more about FlexiSpot desk. They are brilliant. Okay, so I thought I'd just switch over to uh, micro SD card just to give it a test. And I've tried it with these settings uh, that were supplied to me in the comments. So let's switch back into screen capture. Okay, you can see I've done another benchmark uh, and this has come up with 18.76. And uh, if I have a look at the figures that I've got, I've got better results on 1450 and 1475. But it is definitely better than 1400, which is weird. And if I launch NeoFetch, you'll see that it's reporting to run at 2.2 gigahertz, uh, which is definitely the fastest speed that I've tried. And it is reporting that uh, and if we go down the bottom, uh, occasionally it will flick into 2.2 uh, when it's running idle at the moment, so it's not going to switch into it. But if I launch Puffin, for instance, and go back to here, there you go, 2.2. So I'm going to close Puffin down because I don't need that right now. And just show you the config.txt. So I basically copied it from the comment. I copied every line, uh, over voltage 11, arm frequency equals 2147 and I also disabled fake KMS. Uh, I'm not sure from the comment whether I was supposed to enable KMS, but um, I did and it booted fine, but it's definitely not giving as fast a speed as it's doing on 1450 or 1475. So there's something weird. It allows me to boot and everything and use it, but it's, it's definitely not running at 2147. And the reason I tried it on the SD card is because I figured that possibly the SSD was using more power and so maybe that was causing it to be less stable um, but uh, but yeah I'm still not getting better results on this so I think I'm going to try 1500 with 7 this is with the SD card so I'm going to see if it manages that it didn't manage it I couldn't get it to boot on the SSD okay that's a no then because that's crashed okay so 1508 doesn't work on the SD card either Okay, so I think I've got the configuration I'm going to stick with for a while and just see how it works for me. Uh, I'm now at 1450 with an over voltage of 8 and I've got the best score I've had today uh, and this is on an SD card. So 18.0989 is the best score I've had. Uh, so 1500 at over voltage of 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11 failed to boot every single time, which is weird because 2147.11 did boot and did get a pretty good time, um, but it wasn't as fast as the 1450. So I really don't know what it's doing with the 2147 because it's not giving 2147, but it is giving better results than 1900, uh, and it's giving better results than 1300 and 1400. But when it gets to 1450 and 1475, it starts to get quicker. So I, I really, I don't know, um, what to conclude from that, but certainly 1450 at 8 seems to be very stable. It's given me the best time, so I'm going to stick with it for a bit and play around with it and see what results I get. But let me know in the comments what's worked for you, uh, what configuration. Obviously, overclock at your own risk. Uh, it's better to have cooling if you're going to be overclocking. But uh, yeah, for now, 1450 with an over voltage of 8 for me. So let's just show you the config.txt. Here we go, and if I scroll down. We have over voltage 8 and arm frequency equals 1450. Okay, so I hope this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.